Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Now for those of you who haven't seen any of my videos before, my name's Rich and I'm a wildlife photographer from Devon and I'm usually out in the field filming things such as dippers, um, otters, brown hares, you name it. But at the moment I'm over in Sweden and I'm looking for all sorts of different wildlife, things that I haven't actually photographed before. I've been in Sweden for almost two weeks now and for the first 10 days I was basically just snowboarding to be perfectly honest so um, I've only actually had one quick session out with the camera since I've arrived and that was really cool actually that was um, just local to where I was staying um, I saw some hooded crows on a frozen lake and I managed to get a little bit of footage of those but other than that I've done absolutely nothing in terms of wildlife photography since I've been here and I'm kind of like itching to get out but I've now left my ski resort and I'm now over in the high coast area, which is back over on the east side of Sweden. And I'm staying in this really cool cabin that's just surrounded by forest. So last night when I arrived, the host of this Airbnb at which I'm staying popped over to say hello. And I asked them if they know of any wildlife locally. And they were telling me that there's actually foxes, moose, and even capercaillie just in the forest behind this cabin. So as you can imagine, I'm pretty excited to get out this morning. It's just gone sunrise. I have no idea what to expect, to be perfectly honest. But um, I thought I'd bring you guys with me and just see what we can find. They've told me about a little wooden cabin that's up the top of the forest that overlooks like the lake and the sea here. Um, and they've given me access to that. So I'm gonna go and check that out as well. Um, but I thought, yeah, it might be quite cool to bring you guys with me and uh, let's see if we can find some Swedish wildlife. So I've made it up to the cabin and uh, wow, what a walk that was. It didn't take long, probably about, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes, but um, just a really, really enjoyable walk. I didn't see much in the way of wildlife, but I wasn't really expected to. After about five minutes of walking, um, I kind of realized how loud I was being and there was no way really of stopping it. As I was walking on the snow and it's quite compact up here, um, so as I was walking, I was making quite a loud noise and I was thinking, well, 
the chances of me like sneaking up on some wildlife when I'm making this much noise just walking is probably quite slim. But I did see quite a few birds up in the trees. Um, some bullfinches, some crossbills. I managed to get a little bit of footage of the bullfinches, uh, which is really, really nice because I rarely see them back in England. But uh, didn't manage any, I think I got one image of a female bullfinch, which I'll put up on the screen now. But I don't know, it's, it's nothing particularly special, but still really, really nice to see. So as I was walking up though, I could see tracks from wildlife pretty much everywhere. You could just see where they've been walking in the snow. Um, I don't know what they'd be from. It's quite hard to tell. I don't know when they last had fresh snow um, fall up here. So that kind of makes it a little bit more difficult. Those tracks, as far as I'm concerned, they, they, they could be days old, weeks old. I just don't know. So I guess I'm here for a couple more days. So if we get some fresh snowfall, and then I'm finding tracks, it might be worth kind of sticking around those areas. But as this is my first morning, I don't know, I thought I'd just come and explore really. And I'm glad I did because the views are just incredible. So I can see on this side of me, I can see the sea. This side, you've got this big frozen lake behind me and um, it's beautiful. Like Sweden is absolutely beautiful. But I guess for now, I'm just gonna sit here really for a bit. Um, I brought with me some coffee. There's a flask in the uh, cabin where I'm staying. So I brought with me a uh, flask of coffee and some like cinnamon buns. Um, so I'm just gonna have some breakfast. Just look out over this view, see if any more birds turn up and uh, yeah, chill out. Whoa, so bright now. So I've just finished my coffee and uh, as forecasted, the sun's come out and uh, we've just got a really, really nice day here. And I would say this is probably like my favorite um, weather conditions, to be honest. Bright blue skies, snowy, really crisp, nice and cold um, and dry, like absolutely perfect. Um, the only thing is, as many of you watching this will probably know, it doesn't really lend itself to good photography when you've got this harsh light. So um, I've decided to leave that little cabin for now um, and head into the forest. So I'm just gonna go for a little stroll really, just to walk in the woods and um, see if we can find anything. I've seen, well I've heard and seen flying over so many birds, um, definitely some crossbills, I say definitely, I've never seen one before, but I'm pretty sure I saw and heard some crossbills. Um, great spotted woodpecker, um, siskin. Yeah, just some really cool birds, but they were just flying over, so no images, sadly. Um, so I thought if I walk off into the forest, then I might have a better chance of kind of getting in amongst it and uh, maybe get some shots. But if not, one, it's going to be just enjoyable to be exploring somewhere new. Um, and two, I think what we'll do is we'll head back up to that cabin later on this afternoon, sit in there, maybe have a couple of beers and uh, get the fire going. And I'll update you guys on what I've got planned for the rest of this trip, because I've got some pretty cool stuff coming up. And uh, I'd like to share that with you, um, give you an idea of kind of the content that's hopefully, if everything goes well, um, to come in the near future. So I'm gonna stop talking because you can probably hear, even without me saying stuff, I'm so loud. The snow's so um, crunchy 
it's very very hard to be quiet walking through the snow so me talking on top isn't going to help so i'll stop talking head off into the forest a little bit more because it's still very bright here and uh, hopefully we find some things to photograph Well, that was pretty cool. I um, had a really nice encounter with a great spotted woodpecker and saw some crossbills. I uh, managed to get some footage of those. Look, I mean, it's not the best footage in the world. I, I understand that, um, but I, I really enjoyed it. It's like a, a good couple of hours in the forest just trying to find things. And it kind of reminded me of what it was like when I first started wildlife photography, where I'd just be wandering around a new location, just stoked to see and photograph anything. Um, so yeah, really, really enjoyable afternoon. Um, I was gonna go back up to that um, cabin at the top. Um, I have a fire, have some beers. I had it all planned, um, kind of. I realized as I started walking back up that I forgot the beers. Um, and I think a fire in a cabin at sunset without beers just isn't the same. So I'm actually gonna go back to the little cabin where I'm staying um, and I'll talk to you when I get there. Um, the only other thing I was gonna say, and I'm hoping I might see it again, is just before I was about to start speaking to you guys, I saw a woodpecker, well I heard it first, and uh, then I saw it. And it, it was a woodpecker I definitely haven't seen before. It was kind of a lot more mottled, a bit more gray. Um, if I don't see it again, and I don't manage to get any footage of it myself, then I'm just going to go and have a look on Google, and I'll pop it up on the screen now. Um, but yeah, cool to see another thing for the first time. So crossbills, um, and whatever this woodpecker was. It's a really nice forest. I spent a good few hours in here just exploring. I saw, um, oh, tell you what I did see. Um, moose tracks and what i think is moose poo so yeah i'll pop the tracks and the poo on the screen now for anyone that's interested in looking at moose poo and uh, if you're from this area or you've got moose where you live just let me know in the comments if i'm right so that was just really really exciting because for anyone who saw my q a or who knows me personally you'll know that a dream of mine is to see moose and that was kind of one of the things i really wanted to go to canada for um, I don't think I'm going to see one like this, I uh, like I'm being too loud, it's the middle of the day, it's the winter, so from what I understand they stay deeper in the forest, but just to see the tracks and signs of them and to know that they're around me is just a really exciting feeling and um, I'll definitely be coming back in the summer 
when they're out grazing in the evenings and the early mornings. Um, honestly, Sweden is just one of the best places I've ever been. Anyway, I'm probably gonna stop talking to you because I feel like I'm about to fall down this hill. It's pretty icy. Um, I'll speak to you when I get back to my cabin. We'll crack open a beer and I'll talk to you about what's to come on the rest of the trip. Oh, that's better. Well, we'll be in a second. Cheers. Oh, just a ticket. Right, so I thought I'd just give you a quick update really and um, just run you through what I've got planned on this trip. I'm aware that today's video, well, because I've been out all day, it feels like in my head like it's a bit all over the place, but um, I'm aware that there's not as much wildlife in it as there usually would be in my videos. Um, it was just quite tough, to be perfectly honest. As I say, I'm in a new location, a whole new country, and didn't really know where to start, so I was just wandering around. And it was really good fun, but um, I'm hoping that with videos to come, I'm gonna be able to show you a lot more wildlife. So in terms of what I've got planned, once I leave this location, I head further north into Sweden, and the next stop, I'm staying in a little glass roofed pod um, to hopefully witness the Northern Lights. And then I'm off to the Abisko National Park again to hopefully see the Northern Lights again. And I'm hoping up there, from what people were telling me over on the ski resort, um, you just see wildlife from the side of the road. I don't know how true that is, but apparently you can see like reindeer just crossing the road and stuff. So I'm feeling more optimistic that as I head further and further north um, and more and more into the wilderness, hopefully we'll see more and more wildlife. So that's kind of what I've got planned next. So I leave here in a couple of days time, head further north. I think it's about six hours north from here. Stay in one of these little pods um, where the hope is to see and photograph the northern lights. Head on up to Abisko. Now after Abisko, so we're talking in about six days time. When I leave Abisko, I'm gonna be heading over into Norway and driving a little bit further south, meeting up with a guide and going off to photograph and film musk oxen. Now, on, oh, I'm just so excited about that. I just can't even put it into words. But on the way down from Abisko to where the musk oxen are, I've got about four days to make my way south. And I'm just gonna be stopping at various national parks, again, just hoping to find wildlife. And then after the musk oxen, I'm gonna be driving back over into Sweden to visit a couple more national parks and hopefully finding and photographing some Siberian jays amongst other things. I would love, love to see and photograph a moose and I'd love to share that with you guys as well. But um, I don't know about that one. It might be one for another trip, but you never know. You have to remain optimistic, so um, we'll see. But yeah, that's kind of what I've got planned. I realized that I did the last couple of videos, said that I was coming away, but never actually discussed what my plan was, what I was hoping to find when I was here, how long I was gonna be away for. So yeah, I've got about three weeks left of just driving around Sweden and Norway, looking for wildlife. So um, I really can't complain. So I'm gonna end the video there. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider just hitting that like button. It's such a quick thing to do, but it really does help with growing the channel. Um, also, if you, live or are from Sweden or Norway and you have any recommendations for places I should visit whilst I'm here, please just let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate that because I'm kind of, whilst I do have these plans, they're only rough plans, some of them. So I'm always like open for visiting new places and trying new things. And yeah, that's me done for today and I'll see you all on the next one.